Now there's just a few positions left, that's all the sabbatical positions, but um, there are some other positions up for election, one of which is newspaper editor. Jenny, do you want to? <laughs> yeah. Woo! Big clan up here. Um, hello, I'm Jennifer Ball and uh, I'm wanted to be your newspaper editor. Um, this year I've spent um, a lot of my time with the newspaper. I am the coffee editor, um, which basically means I read through everything that gets put in the newspaper. Um, and um, Ben can tell you I've spent countless amount of time in there, up in evenings. Um, a lot of evenings I've spent in the newspaper office helping out Ben. Um, and yeah, I want to be your newspaper editor. Um, I've spent the time doing it. Um, I want it to be your newspaper. I want you to come up to me and say, I want to write for the newspaper. And I want to get out to you and go, do you want to, read to, the, do you want to write for the newspaper? Do you want to write for the newspaper? Because I know it has a, a big, big problem with writers. And I want to get people involved in the biggest, the, 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 I want to get people involved as much as I possibly can do. Yeah. Okay, again, the first question leads on quite nicely from that. How would you actually look to increase participation from students writing articles for the paper to avoid accusations that the paper is written entirely by the editorial team? Um, the accusations that the paper has come from and written by the editorial team is by the fact that writers are very difficult to come by um, and I want to get out, I want to advertise as much as I possibly can do about the paper because a lot of people don't know about the paper. There are some people who have been here almost three years and aren't really aware of it and I want to get people aware of it as much as they possibly can do um, and try and try and try and try my hardest to get writers involved. So yeah. Okay, and your second question is, what is your vision for Huddersfield Student in both appearance and content? Um, content wise, um, I want to get a lot more news in there because the news section for um, Huddersfield Student is very small at the moment and is exp needs expanding. Uh, we need to get a lot of actually what's going on at the campus around to university everywhere so that people know what's going on. Um, and um, what was the other part of that question, sorry? Um, question. It was the vision of the paper. Oh, the vision of the, the, the appearance. Um, I don't plan to mess with the appearance of the newspaper at all in, in terms of, I think it's already been set. Um, and I think if you start messing with it too much, you start messing with people recognising it as, your, as the student union newspaper. If it changed every year, you got a new editor, no one would recognise it. No one would be able to recognise it as the Huddersfield student. So yeah. Okay, is there any questions from the floor? One from Ben. I'm going to talk for a little bit first. As a current newspaper editor, uh, I see the Huddersfield Student as more of a news brand as opposed to just a newspaper. What are your plans for, say, the website, Facebook, and things like that? Um, my plans for that are basically to keep them going, to give uh, more news. Every, every article that uh, goes in the, the newspaper that's news, I want to get out onto Facebook, I want to get onto Twitter, I want to get out onto YouTube if I can get videos um, of what's going on. Basically just uh, utilise everything that's been set up and uh, increase on it. Okay, any more questions? How are you going to attract all these new writers and new people to get involved with it? I mean, I remember my first year, I'm in the second year now, and we used to open the paper, laugh at it, and then just leave it where it was. And it was, it was really that bad. And I mean, Ben's done a fantastic job this year, and I see it everywhere, yet we still haven't got the writers coming on board. How do you plan to get more writers and more involvement with students other than the usual? try and get writers like to speak but the way that the, everyone else like the radio stage says we're going to try and get more listeners but at the moment there's nothing happening. It's a difficult one that because you can only try and do as much as you can um, and I want to do that by you know advertising I want to I mean I know this is going to be difficult but I want to try my hardest 
see if I can get um, brighter stands and get it you know, out there. Um, but the problem is, is that no matter how much you engage with people, if you can't get writers, you can't get writers. Um, so it's just a case of keep on advertising, keep on trying to get it out there and just hoping um, you know, engaging and communicating and hopefully whoever gets into communication might be able to help you with this. Um, basically to get the paper out there um, and if they come, which I would really, really love them to, and they'll come, if not, it's going to be another hard year with sub-editors writing things, which I really, really don't want. Okay, any more questions for Jenny? Besides so I could write it, do you think there's anything else lacking in the paper? Is there anything new you'd like to introduce next year? Um, basically it's just news. I think the paper needs just a hell of a lot more news in it. Um, and I think it just, it, that needs to be geared towards the students. Um, and I think perhaps um, things like events, because I, I know there, I know Events varies depends on depending on the time of year. So you know, sometimes say in December there are lots of events, and then suddenly in I don't know March there isn't any. Um, but things like that would really help to get um, across um, what exactly is going on in the union. Yeah. Hey, so any more questions? Uh, one at the back, just hang on a second. Just a quick thing, um, you were talking about your involvement in the newspaper. As an editor, would you encourage your current writers, if you had some, to go out and look for more work experience, which would work with the other tobacco officers in the union? Also, to encourage writers to write for you, would you say that they should uh, write on the keen interest of theirs and would you encourage the writers to try and broaden that into other aspects of the union? Um, yeah, I mean there's always scope in, in, in um, people contributing to other people's sections. That's, that's, that's always a good thing because it always gives fresh perspectives, um, fresh perspectives, new ideas and <coughs> sorry, um, doing things differently. Um, working in different areas of the union is always a good thing um, because it gives um, perspectives that we never thought before. Um, it gives possibly gives paper new direction and you know fresh fresh ideas. So yeah, yeah, that'd always be a thing, good thing. Okay, does anyone have a, another question? Frodo. Hi, Jenny. Right. Uh, you keep saying about you want to bring more news. Are you talking uh, like you know the real world news, Huddersfield student news, you know, on campus news, Huddersfield news? What you know, what kind of region are we talking with regards to that? Um, with regards to that, it's more um, on campus news. Um, there's always things going on. There's always things going on in terms of union council motions that are brought through. Not always, um, and also stuff that's going on locally in Huddersfield. Um, because that does affect students, even if, even if, you know, it's something small. Something small sometimes does affect students, um, even if it isn't regards to on campus. Okay, we're going to go to and then to Natalie, and then we'll be pretty much out of time. Um, I attended an American International School, uh, high school, and they had a, news, a, newspaper, a student newspaper. Usually the editors in this team would, would go about to clubs, societies, and events, and uh, and uh, pick stories from there, which I don't think uh, the present team are doing. Is that something you'd be looking to do if you are elected? Yeah, um, because I mean, getting involved and getting people into societies, not society, you know, into events is obviously how you, how you can effectively report on them. Um, you can't really do that if you're not there, um, and it's always a good idea to get people into these these events um, and. In that way, you can report in the truest way possible and give the students the best that you can have. <laughs>